twelve twentieth, two thousand seventeen is the day that I have collected every single Power Moon. At least I think it is. I I I get the feeling that there's actually one more in the Moon Kingdom because there was like a blank picture, and I think I showed that off during like the um post commentary video that um there is a uh there's a potential moon there because of the painting although even though um it says that i collected every single one in the moon kingdom i might have to revisit that once i actually uh, finalized 999 moons onto the odyssey uh but yeah i got everything all that's left is to i mean i didn't get i guess i didn't really finish the 900 9,999 coins, but honestly, that's just a tedious grind, so I might as well just do that my own time instead. Um, but yeah, I collected every single moon. All that's left to do now is to just put it onto the Odyssey. Here it is, the 999th moon. There it is. Bam. Holy crap. The Odyssey, uh, the Odyssey sale turned gold. A new portrait browser. Knew it. <laughs> I knew it. So, I'm guessing we collected, let's see, 999 power moons. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, and that reminds me. There's a surprise waiting for you. Let's head to Peach's castle. Okay. Uh, uh, this is where we are now. I need you to choose where we're... Peach's castle. <laughs> Told me to go to Peach's castle, right? What the f- Oh, hey, hello. That top hat's new. <laughs> Is it possible to get up there? Yeah, there has to be. Let's try that out before we actually go to Bowser's, um, uh, portrait. I know there's a shortcut over, uh, over there that you can do with the hat trick, but I'm not that proficient yet, so I'm just gonna do the pussy way. <laughs> Alright, how the hell do you get up there? Can you even get up? It looks like you can, actually. Hold on a minute. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna need my hat back. Either that, or maybe Yoshi could climb, make me climb upward, but we'll see. No, no it's possible to you do it to just... Hold on. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Bam! There we go. New moon, or what is this? That's cute. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna get five for copyrights or whatever, is it? Okay, so that's it. Hmm. Yep, this is it's pretty big. <laughs> Holy crap! So uh, we got four minutes of this, and I'm not just gonna end it there. No, we got a portrait to go to, and well, let's see what the hell that's up with. I'm actually surprised that I managed to get 100% completion on this game. Or at least I'm about to. Because apparently getting 999 moons is not enough. I think we have to collect our 1,000th one, or unless it's a triple. 1,000th and second? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if there's a way to like exceed over 999. I'm just assuming that that's a max, and technically you can get infinite by like continuously uh, buying moons from stores, but uh, that's kind of cheating, so fuck that. <laughs> Uh, on to the Moon Kingdom in our undies. <laughs> I just realized that I'm actually... Hold on, I'm going to adjust the microphone a little bit. I'm sorry for any post-processing noise. Oh, man. This thing is in an angle for some reason. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fix the microphone eventually. Okay, anyways. um, Or, or better yet, upgrading the microphone. If I had the money for it and not wasted my money on games... This year, 2017 was a was a fantastic year for gaming. I swear to God, like so many good games came out, including Super Mario Odyssey. I'll say though, Odyssey is probably what the only one that I've yet that I've actually completed this year, out of all the games that I've played. All right, what a super scary painting! This looks like a, I'm assuming a harder version of the Bowser fight. Let's do it. <laughs> this seems fun. Oh god, yeah, everything just looks like a blood moon. Wow. 
This looks like the same cutscene, but uh. Yeah, it, it, in fact, it actually is the same cutscene. So, so let's skip that. Oh, 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 hello. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be the same tactics then. It shouldn't be too hard. By the way, I've actually learned some different tactics to uh, deal with Bowser. One. Oh, oh, really? Crap. There we go. I'm gonna have to jump eventually, I know. One. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. He still has a do. Okay. One. Two. Okay, yeah. Bowser's becoming pretty predictable right now. If this is a harder version, then it's not really- Oh, shit, right. Okay. Shit, okay. That was a little bit too late for me. That's fine. Um, I'm assuming that if it's gonna be a harder version, there's no health regeneration at all. Still the same amount of hats, though, so... I'm not sure if that's gonna be anything. Alright, got the hat again. I just have to make sure, uh... I feel like when he's, uh... Spearing flames out of his mouth, that's the hard bit that I had to, uh usually avoid. Uh, oh, oh, that was a thing that I could have uh, punched. I don't think there's going to be any health regeneration at all, though. Alright, go ahead, taunt, because it ain't gonna work. Oh, really? Just once? I feel this one is going to jump up the times or something. One, two, gonna block again? Yep. Like I said, predictable. There we go. Alright. 2 HP left still. That looks like a high, oh no, there's a higher point than that, but that's gonna be a basis for now. Oh man. I think just jumping probably helps because I don't need to do like a big jump at all. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Shit. Got one HP left. Does the amount of uh, hats decrease, or no, it doesn't. Okay. No, it his hat punched me. Ah. Okay. That's gonna be a little bit tricky because uh, uh and I have to go back to the beginning, of course. <laughs> okay. Do I have to do the escape sequence as well at the end? That'd be pretty ballsy. But uh, I think I can handle it. Okay, that's pretty much a free, like, punish right there. Like, he's gonna throw the hats, like, just throw your hat there, bam, you're dead. Uh, I recently watched a Super Mario Odyssey video, um, where it's basically, uh, beating the game without ever jumping once, and there's, like, a lot of criteria as to how the game registers jumps. Um, I forgot the YouTuber, unfortunately. But it was, I, I liked it on Twitter, so I hope that's just enough traction. Oh, crap. That was a close one. I almost like. I think I jumped a little bit too early for a second there, but regardless, I seem to have been, uh. Make, made it. Okay. Alright. I wanna know how the hell do you avoid dodging that without jumping? That seems like. really hard to do, but, uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you could grab the hat with the hat, <laughs> so that will make things a lot more easier to uh, do. I keep forgetting I could also technically dive through it. You're not completely limited to uh, what you do, but uh, yeah, just be aware of that just in case. One, oh, just one. Oh, okay, so he's gonna do this again. I know. One, two, and then you punch again. Oh. And then you jump three times and then just punch off. Bam! Okay. Just one more, uh, what's higher? That's probably a higher point, but like I said, it might not really matter in the long run. Because it seems like a dodge is enough to just get past the fire. But like I said, I really want to know how to do that without jumping. <laughs> that seems either impossible or you have to like tank those jumps. Like I said, if I see like a legit playthrough, which I, pro I could probably do so by like watching his Twitch channel because that's where he streams most of the stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay. There we go, got it, okay. That one's really tricky because like every single hat blood was like going after me. 
to try speedrunning this game too. Watch, this game is completely never ending for me. It's because of the amount of shit I do. Okay. He's gonna block still, I know. Like I said, predictable. Block still? Yep. Not until I see the animation. I'm not gonna believe it. Oh, well that's that. Oof, strip him down naked look once again. Everything's yellow now instead of red. I'm not sure what that's all about. But uh Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm guessing we still had to do the escape sequence. I'm guessing, right? Okay. Yeah, these platforms was also uh, falling down along the way. Oh, okay, you can't possess Peach. Ah, oh, she's wearing a tiara, that's why. Hurry and get out. I get the feeling the escape sequence is a lot harder to deal with. That's my guess. And if I fail, then I'm going all the way back to the Bowser fight again. So let's hope- Ooh! Okay, those projectiles, they're new, I think. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Oh my god! Okay. Also found out you could actually uh, throw your fireballs by just spamming the shake button or just shaking the controller. Owie! Uh, didn't realize that until like now, I guess. Okay. Okay, you don't need to shake the controller at this part, just. Yeah. Oh, shit. I think I. Probably should have uh, broken that uh, block br uh, pile of blocks there. Okay. All right. Okay, just avoid any casualties if possible. All right, we're close to the end. I think we could do this. There's that epic music once again. Okay. Okay. Like I said, gotta be aware about projectiles falling from the ground. Uh, that's gonna be, yeah, okay. Almost got hit by another projectile there for a second. Oh yeah, and they also break up to pieces. That's always lovely. No, no! Oh my god, I almost fell down. I gotta be very careful with my actions. Like, oh crap. Of course, Jazz Singer, she has a pretty damn good rock and roll voice. Okay, almost done, I think. Oh my god, everything's breaking apart. Okay, just break, break. I got 5 HP, I'm, I'm perfectly fine for now. Okay, I just also love that bit of Bowser's Castle uh, theme as well. It's like, dun -dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun -dun. That just adds it to its, I guess, metalness. Uh, can I? There we go. <laughs> Do I get like a different ending, or is it gonna be the exact same ending in which Peach is? Proving herself to be a continuous bitch. <laughs> Despite saving her ass for the second, oh, I guess third time technically this playthrough. Judging from the skip button, I'm assuming it's. I forgot he's in his boxers! Oh my god. That's, uh. an interesting cutscene, say the least. Even though, regardless, it's probably gonna get flagged for copyrights. Because, Nintendo, what, what can you do? Uh. I'm just going to assume it's going to be the same cutscene, so I'll skip it. Um, if it's just a harder version, then it's like, well... I'll be honest, it's not really that hard, like, compared to the beginnings. Like, sure, you had to do several more phases, but pretty predictable. Okay, let me, yeah, let's skip the credits because not much, I don't think. Um, yeah, that was that, I guess. <laughs> uh... 
I'm not sure if there was like something special and uh, I missed it because uh, I probably skipped it. You know, I'm going to go back back in there just in case. I might have accidentally skipped it and uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and do it without like unfiltering myself. I'm probably going to skip through this boss up because we already seen it already. So I'll be right back.
There's something after the credits, right? We're still gonna wait, don't worry. Rick Chen, isn't he like the voice actor for uh, Ike in Path of Radiance or something? Oh. A lot of their like studio developers are pretty like close in with Nintendo if they're using like both their developers as voice actors as well. There's a lot of voice actors that are still um, working. I feel like they should definitely get a lot more credit. I don't know. Bowser has an actual voice? Kenny James. Oh yeah, that yeah, that name reminds me of someone. I think he's been the voice of Bowser since the Sunshine game, I wanna say. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. It's always interesting seeing all these credits. Charles Martinet, of course he'd be the voice of Mario. What, how, like, a Mario game without Charles Martinet would just... I don't know, like, how would how can you recast Mario ever? Unless the morbid, like, thought of Charles Martinet passing away. God, that would be a sad day. Also, rest in peace, Iwata. If his name shows up in the credits, I'll be very somber. Uh, Scott Ridgely. Oh my god, that almost closely resembles Scott Ridley for a second. Level design, character art, graphics tool, voice cast, field art, two of them. More level design. They're not really, like, organized, I noticed. They're like, okay, here are a bunch of names, just put what they're meant for there. Yeah, it would be nice to, like, see, there's more art support. It's like, couldn't there be, like, a section for art support, a section for voice actors? Oh, excuse me, sorry about the burp. Uh, all that good shit. I don't know, that just seems, alright, special thanks. Japanese names that I do not know how to pronounce. Yeah, this has been an, a very fun ride, and uh, if you guys really want to see me do a speed run of it, then I'll, I'll try and consider it. It's just why is Kenji? Wait, what? Kenji Yamamoto's name is in there twice for some reason. Huh. That's interesting. Odyssey, ladies and gentlemen, 100% completion. We did it. Do I not get anything for after the credits, or is it really just oh, okay? Just, so come on, at least. My game. Didn't you say that when I actually beat the games? Like at least something. Okay, this looks new. It looks like the same bullshit that you do for 100% in Super Mario Sunshine, but I'll take it. At least it's something. Uh, plus, I enjoyed my experience, and I don't think like collecting all the moons were cumbersome whatsoever. They gave you enough hints, and if you really needed trouble, then there's always you know got the uh, hint toad or Uncle Amiibo to help you out. So there's that. Um, yes, I did have to use walkthroughs for certain moments, mostly specifically the purple coins. 
But other than that, like, I don't think I really need to use a walkthrough at, at all. Like, most of the puzzles that, um, that are the pretty hard, I think these are very creative. Let's, it makes your, like, brain things like, okay, what do these look like? And, um, for the most part, like, I, I was very glad that I actually got these correctly because they look like they're very hard to, uh, figure out. But I was like, just look at the environment. It's like, okay, that looks like a bear. That looks like, okay, this one I legitimately did have to use a walkthrough because, like, I thought I was on the right track, but that was, I was completely lost. Like, the exclamation mark didn't really do much. Um, I might have actually said that during the post uh, commentary or something. I don't know. Uh, I might be repeating myself from this moment on, but, uh, yeah. It's hard to believe that I actually 100% this game. It's amazing. It is super amazing. I'm not sure if there's anything else that changed after beating Bowser again. Uh, the balloon's now golden. I got 999 uh, power moons. It's quite an amazing experience. Let's look at all the cluttered mess inside the Odyssey. All these souvenirs. My god. It's like This is not a big Odyssey whatsoever. This needs to be having some sort of expansion. Like, Jesus. What if this thing breaks or something? Look at this, I'm jumping around. This thing could easily break. Ground pounding it. Jeez. Uh, yeah, all these buildings, all these uh, foods that I'm probably not going to eat and just have it rot, or unless maybe it's just like, uh, I don't know, a replica. Ah, uh, Cappy. Enjoying the life together, aren't we? Mm. There's a space rock there. God. This is a quite an amazing game. I definitely enjoyed my time here. Oh my god, all those ugly stickers that are plastered all over the Odyssey. My god. Uh, I'm going to take one more final picture before uh, we end this Let's Play. Because unless I am doing an eventual speedrun of this game, and that is assuming you guys want me to uh, try it out, I probably have to like practice beforehand, look up all the speedrunning strats in order to like really do it. But, uh... You know, if you guys really want me to do it, then I'll definitely um, try it out. <sighs> Dang it, I don't think I have the right angle, but 999 is all the way, like, over there or something. You know, I'll just probably take a picture over almost to this cliffside or something. Yeah, that thing's visible. There it is. Quite the amazingness right there. 999 power moons. My god. <laughs> oh, I did it! <clears throat> this is probably my first and possibly only 100% let's play. <laughs> but, uh, I definitely enjoyed my time playing this game. I want to see how many hours I spent in total just playing this damn game. Because I get the feeling it is a lot. 55 hours to 100% complete this game. My god. god. This is an awesome game. I definitely uh, recommend anyone with a Switch to buy Super Mario Odyssey. It is a fun experience. Um, I, I, I did say in the past, I believe, that Super Mario Odyssey might be the best Mario uh, 3D platformer. But honestly, I, I will have to say it might be a little bit too soon to uh, digest it all. Because this is the one that's recently coming to mind. The one I'm recently playing. And I need to, like, probably replay the entire uh, 3D Super Mario uh, 3D platform in order to get a final judgment. But this is definitely a really fun game. But overall, I think we can all agree that Sunshine sucked ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, I, I, I'm not going to end on that note. But, uh, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. For, uh, I guess, enduring the journey that is... The 100% complete dump. Oh yeah, I guess I could also uh, showcase off the outfits that I also unlock in case anyone's really that paranoid in case I didn't 100% complete everything. I'm gonna show you everything that I did from um, collecting all the souvenirs, the music, capturing every single anything enemy that's capturable. And uh, yeah, the only thing I have left to do to prove my worth, I guess, and even so, like this is mostly like an optional thing, is to probably do the speed runs. I don't know. I really like the uh, leaderboard things, like with the Koopa the Quick side missions. Not necessarily the jump rope game or the volleyball game. The ones that are really tedious and stupid. 
And like I said, this is not a perfect game. There's definitely some obvious flaws. Like, some of the moons can be really redundant. Um, but overall, I really do enjoy this game. Alright, so Mushroom Kingdom. Got everything. 100 coins, 104 moons. And to be absolutely sure that I did complete everything, the star icons are there for a reason. So yeah, I got everything in there, everything in there, everything in there, yada yada, blah blah blah. Got those, Snow Kingdom, Seaside Kingdom, Lynching Kingdom, the Rune Kingdom, Bowser's Kingdom, Moon Kingdom, Dark Side of the Moon, which is considered some of the hardest maps ever, which I could fully attest to that. I was like, trying to, trying to find the art was pretty cumbersome. I think I did have to use walkthroughs on two of them just to finish, finish it. Um... And, but overall, this definitely is a test of skill if you ever go to the dark side or the darker side of the moon. I think I kind of like cheated a little bit by the fact that I had extra hearts. Um, I would like to see if I could do a deathless run. <laughs> that is impossible. There's no way. I'm not going to do that. Um, that is, wait, hold on. That's all the, yeah, okay. Capture list. There it is. That's all 52 capturable enemies, capturable things. This is a stupid mini game. I never want to play it again. Uh, super new list. Bought everything. There it is. The stickers and uh, items and all that good stuff. Replicas, models, all music, all 82 of them, all completed, all collected. Um, and once we get to the Odyssey, you'll see all the. Damn boon. <laughs> Zero gravity. And somehow, like, retract itself once I go indoors. Weird, but whatever. Anyways, uh, and there it is. All the hats and all the stars. And yes, there is one less hat than there is, um, uh, outfits. But, uh, there's a star still, so I'm assuming that's me that means I collected every single one of them. If you want a true challenge, try playing the final level while invisible. That seems impossible to do, but I'm pretty sure, like... Oh shit, you can in interact with this thing? I didn't even know that! Oh, where the hell am I? There we go. Holy crap, I didn't even know you could interact with this thing. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. That is everything I had to offer. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in any future Let's Play that I may potentially do. I don't know. Possibly more Mario games, possibly something else new. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess this is it, guys. Thanks for watching.